when the physical no longer exists, I know it's hard for some of y'all to imagine, but you know, we're shifting from carbon to crystalline, and I explained the science behind it in my other video, but the shift is happening where everything that is made from carbon that's from the earth is going to be increasing in vibration to the point where a new reality is going to be crystallized in a higher dimension and that is going to be the new reality. So life as we know it, you know, the same old, same old slow pace, like false timeline, isn't linear timeline. It's not going to be like that anymore. Grand rising, y'all. So it's 2020, Friday the 13th, and what's been on my mind is revelations. So there's a lot going on in the world right now, as you know. We have the virus going around, wiping, wiping people out, changing the economy, you know, altering the whole system in dr very drastic ways and people living in cities are being are like in shutdown so shit's about to go down <laughs> and i just heard yesterday that there's been like a huge locust storm and about 20 million people are you know having a food crisis so as you know part of the prophecy is being fulfilled i feel like a lot of people get this feeling that we're at the end of the times and we definitely are from what it feels like you know as somebody who has had my spiritual awakening i would say my third eye is open so premonition you know prophetic visions i'm not saying i'm a prophet but i'm just saying that i'm just saying so i'm warning people so people can know what is actually happening there's so much more than just the physical world it's not about just i need to see it to believe it anymore you know there's so much more happening that most people I realize can't even see because their third eye isn't open. So, because they in the lower three chakras, you know, because they're just still entertaining the worldly things. But you got to actually be doing the practices, you know, as somebody that's been doing yoga since I was like 16, like intensively. Revelations is talking about the end of this old world, which we are clearly in right now because, you know, the virus is going around. It's changing the whole system up it's shaking it, people are in lockdown in some places the government has like fucking quarantines on people where they can't you know actually act on their free will so of course the shadow is like coming down and using everything they have in their power to try to keep people in fear but on the other on the flip side the people who are actually awake and realize their divine potential are able to actually start the revolution is only gonna be intensified from here and uh, I'm worried about the people in between, you know, like, I don't know who, I don't know, like, you know, the hardest part is family, you know, we love our families, we're attached to them, but what we can, I think every per, every, every soul here that has come here serves a purpose, and it's a part of the divine evolution, and I think what we can learn from our families is what it feels like to have this, you know, connection with people from birth, and What's more important than a biological family is our soul families, okay? So we choose our families before we come in here. And what's important is that we have to know what it feels like to return to our soul groups again. Because the angels are going to be assisting us. At this time, everybody, we should be calling upon our guides every day. The, my reason for this is... I see so many naive spiritual people out here. There's so many people that are like high vibration, I guess, because they eat vegan, you know. And they're in the spiritual community and they're still relatively new to it and they kind of have this ego around it. But I'm not judging. I'm kind of worried for people that are in between because the people whose third eyes aren't really open, you know, but they just like to talk about it and they just talk about the law of attraction and they can't remember the dreams and they smoke pot every day, you know. Like, I'm worried about the people in betweens because there's actually entities out here that are body snatching people who are weak and vulnerable. But, you know, on the outside, they're like, oh, I'm so spiritual, I'm so awake. It's not like that because if you're not doing the practice every day, if you wear spirituality as your badge, then it's not, you're not gonna be okay. You know, they're gonna, those are the easy, t those are the easy targets. When the physical no longer exists, I know it's hard for some of y'all to imagine, but, you know, we're shifting from carbon to crystalline, and I explained the science behind it in my other video, but the shift is happening where everything that is made from carbon that's from the earth is going to be increasing in vibration to the point where a new reality is going to be crystallized in a higher dimension, and that is going to be the new reality. 
so life as we know it you know the same old same old slow pace like false timeline isn't linear timeline it's not going to be like that anymore it's going to be cyclical to the point where our thoughts instantly manifest you know we're going to be creating with crystalline technologies that are our bodies as well so it's going to be a different reality where i don't know exactly how it's all going to happen you know but the physical like science foundation part of it is I explained it in my other video, but it's like everything that is made from carbon is going to be speeding up to the point where the free the electrons around it are going to be um, ionized into plasma, which is ionized gas, the fourth state of matter, and we're, that's the transitionary stage that we're going to move into the 5D with. So the more carbon you have, the easier it's going to be, and it's important to really protect and activate your carbon at this time so practice sun gazing you know intentionally eat ethically sourced honey um, it's important at this time to really be crystallizing as much as you can so what that means is energy isn't stagnating it's able to move through you easily you're not holding on to anything from the past so childhood traumas we have to be healing from that ancestral healing you know breaking the generational curses that are passed down that keep us stuck in places this is all stuff that i've been working on on myself for the past three years and i'm at this point where i'm able to really you know tune into myself and my wholeness and see the direction in which my spiritual self is moving in and as ascending in, into the light of love, into the light of raw, of truth, of divine crystalline order, you know, where there's no fear, there's no mistruths, there's no bad intentions that exist in this new reality. This is the new earth we've all been waiting for, but it's gonna take, it's gonna require the death of the old world, and not many people are ready for that. So what it really is, is actually the timelines are shifting so we're moving from this linear timeline into a cyclical timeline and think about how like the moon right it has cycles and it's following the patterns of 13 13 20 time this is like following the guidance of the astrological planets too because they're so close to our solar system if you think about the grand scheme of things and with Ophiuchus exploding the 13th sign you know the this constellation and the 13th sign exploding the other day on March 1st, 3-1. It's a direct reflection of how, like, it's kind of showing how there's, like, this calibration going on between the two poles of the 13th sign, which is, um, and the explosion was, like, actually bigger than the big, they hadn't seen one that big since the Big Bang, which created this galaxy. It's significant because our timeline is being ca calibrated with the galactic timeline in the other constellation of Phaeacus 13, which is the center point of creation, you know? And people people were saying, astronomers were saying that it was probably the supermassive black hole in the center of it that created the explosion. How I see it is that all the portals are being open. So it's, it's also significant it happened on March 1st here. You know, it represents how this timeline is being shifted into that timeline because there's this calibration going on with the poles, right? And the two poles are meeting and duality is going to be collapsing. So I've been trying to warn people, like, shit's about to go down, even way before 2020, you know? And now we're in the times and people are freaking out and they're like, oh my god, it's so intense. I know. I've been trying to tell you all about this because... It's all coming together. So another part that's significant is the sound of the horns from the angels. And think about how we are created by sound, right? Like sound is a higher vibration than light. Sound created light. In the beginning was the word, the ohm, you know? And that's the frequency of the heart space. So, so another thing is sound and being able to hear the, the trumpets of the angels and they're going to be realigning us with the frequencies that we are, um, our cells are supposed to be vibrating at via their sound, uh, via the sounding of the trumpets. If you think things are intense now, you got to be prepared for that because that's going to shake up the world even more. The sound of the trumpets 
so now is an important time to be connected to your angels and guides they are actual like beings who are here to assist us i think the main thing that everybody should be focusing on at this time is to really not be relying on anything outside of yourself i know i know it sounds hard if you have if you're every day if you're relying on something outside yourself besides like oxygen and water you know then you're really attached to an old reality so it sounds crazy but there are other sources of it's free energy everywhere you know like the sun so the breath so to in order to be prepared to so in order to be prepared to move into this new reality, we really have to be not relying on any external crutch at this time. On the people that are in fear, who are too afraid to um, be in their divine pot potential, to be connected to their truth, they're not going to make it. And that is the truth of it. People that are in survival mode, who are given, who are dancing with the devil because their energy is being circulated you know, through the machines and the matrix and what's crazy is that people don't believe things until they see it in the spiritual. So the way the universe works in terms of energy being made up of energy, um, the way the universe works is that everything is created in the spiritual before it manifests in the physical. So people's third eyes who aren't open, they can't see what's actually happening in the other realms. They can't feel into it. So you know with the virus and stuff and it's finally coming to the point where it's a hoax by the way it's not even like an actual virus it's the fucking 5g <clears throat> but i don't even know if i should i don't even know if that's saying too much people don't really feel affected by it until the whole system is being restructured and the people who are living in these systems who rely on this you know the only thing the matrix can actually provide you is a false sense of security you're never secure in this false construct you know and the only way to actually be secure is spiritually secure within yourself you know like you have to be strong in the heart first and foremost that's the foundation that's like the foundation of the spiritual chakras so yeah i also just wanted to make this video so i can introduce people to what the revelations say as well as other ancient prophecies so that's the next half of this clip so Thank you for joining me. I hope this video was helpful and let's keep elevating every day and stay aligned and stay grounded because once you've had your spiritual awakening, you know, it's actually not about getting higher. It's about staying in alignment with your highest truth, your highest vibration and your higher ascended self because soon enough, you got to be prepared for anything. Soon enough, pull's going to shift. And it's already, we're in it right now. So stay aligned, keep shining. Thanks for joining me.